lot of uh, tweets with that yeah, man had a family yeah. or he was on a poster. Yeah. What was going through your mind when you made those incredible plays tonight? Uh, I just saw somebody under the rim, <laughs> and I, I just jumped, so that's all. How energizing and exciting are those moments? No, it's fun. You know what I'm saying? I feel like our team, we, was kind of not, we didn't have a lot of energy, you know what I'm saying, in the first half. So I was just trying to make some plays to get our energy up and um, to try to get back in the game. How did it get away that uh, at that time, the place is excited, it's loud. Yeah. But I think it was down to nine. Yeah. How did it get away from you guys after that? Uh, just stopped, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, uh, I think one probably in the fourth or like six minutes ago, and we had three fouls in a row, you know what I'm saying? Back to back to back to possession. So we was fouling, they was getting to the line, getting two free throws, and it kind of slowed the game up, game down, slowed our tempo down. What Did happened it? on the technical? I have no clue. I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, he didn't say anything. I was asking him, like, I, I can't have emotion when I play, and he didn't give me an answer, so I don't know. Did it feel like whenever you would go on some sort of a run that they would always have an answer? A um, little bit, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, they have guys who play for a long time, so, you know what I'm saying? They know what to do, their experience and stuff like that. But, I mean, I feel like we put up a fight in the second half. And, you know what I'm saying, they, they're just a better team tonight. As a team, do you feel like you guys thrive a little bit more off those big offensive plays, like the big dunks that you had, or when you guys get some, some really high-quality stops and can get going on the other end? I think both. Once we get a high-quality stop and we go on offense, I feel like we move the ball around and get an open shot. You know, um, the whole flow of everybody, we come together. So I think it's on both ends of the floor where we really need to focus on. The one part of the game of ball got a little bit stagnant and there's a lot of isolation going on. Is that due to the trip of defense? I wouldn't say that. I mean, I feel like we probably feel like we have mixed matches and stuff, but uh, every, anytime I get on the floor, you know what I'm saying, I try to get my teammates shots, get the ball moving, and um, just get us some flow. A moment ago, you told Alpi, stop fouling. Yeah. <laughs> what, what are those conversations like when you see him picking up some maybe, you know, some maybe yeah. touch fouls? Here yeah, kind no, of I, just, I just tell him, like, just know, he's, you know what I'm saying, just stay vertical, and if he makes it, he makes it. Like, every time, you know what I'm saying, just keep your hands up, don't bring your hands down. Sometimes the ref might call a foul, but you know what I'm saying? Eight out of 10 times, you'd be safe vertical and just jump straight up and won't call anything. So I think it's just a conversation between us, just real life conversations, just, you know what I'm saying? Keeping it real with each other, that's gonna help us in the future.